वेलकम यूवर्स टू सॉफ्ट डैमी अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी वी विल गो थ्रू प्लानिंग इंजीनियर्स क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर पार्ट नंबर फाइव वट इज रिफ्लैक्शन इन प्रेमावीरा पी सिक्स आंसर इट इज वन ऑफ द एक्सक्लूसिव फीचर्स इन प्रेमावीरा पी सिक्स पॉसिबल चेंजेस इन अ प्रोजेक्ट आर डन via reflection reselection is just like a what of if scenario once changes are reviewed and approved then it can be merged into sources project different possible scenarios are reviewed and the best one is merged after approval scenarios like if you actual plan is lagging behind and project manager asked if i provide you some extra resources or shift then how long it will take to catch up question number 41 what is the use of claim digger in primavera p6 answer the handiest function to compare to schedule for any chain claim digger is one more exclusive kind of function in primavera p6 although it is a separate product nowadays it is built in primavera p6 claim digger help to track any change between two projects in term of activity deleted added change in relationship change is duration change in cost change in unit change in percentage complete mainly reports can be exported in html and csv file or even text question number 42 what you know about rolling wave planning answer first is very high level planning is done at project level one you only have a concept because at that time you don't have much resources or team members to coordinate and so you make an expert judgment for estimations then you do it on phase level phases are as per your organization norms you may have four phases or less or more rolling way planning is done at the deliverable level it can be like look ahead weekly base or even is done daily on for man level it could be monthly as per stakeholders requirement question number 43 differentiate among wbs work package and activity answer wbs work breakdown structure wbs is simply a decomposition of all the work to complete any project a wbs is arranged in a hierarchy having a clear and a logical group a wbs is a deliverable oriented work package wp is the lowest level of any activity any work breakdown structure from we can manage the cost and duration estimation activity a discrete planned portion of work to be performed in a project still confusing let's understand by an example say that we are a building house and flooring is one of the wbs it depends on the team how they define wbs in a plan no these floors different floors are different work packages a team has to perform a series of activities like soil compaction water proofing concrete blending uh, rebars etc to complete the floor to understand activity will complete work packages and that will ultimately complete the wbs it's like a bottom up scenario question number 44 what is the difference between open end activity and a dangling activity answer an activity without predecessor or successor relationship is called open ended activity 
a dangling activity may have both predecessor and successor but is still dangling from one end that leads to fake results for critical path and completion dates it behaves the same as of open end activity but is the more difficult and complex scenario to find it it is undesirable in any program and need to fix always question number 45 is there any difference between a flag and a milestone in primavera p6 answer a milestone and a flag are event activities you cannot update flag manually it will be update, updated automatic, automatically whereas a milestone needs to be updated manually by the way i have never used a flag as it is absolute uh, term in primavera p6 nowadays question number 46 what are the major different types of drawings you see on a construction projects answer there are four types we normally came across one tender drawing two afc ifc three shop drawings and four as built drawings tender drawings drawings included in the tender documents are released by the client for pre qualified contractors approved for construction drawing afc approved for construction or ifc issued for construction both terms are being used for drawings and documents that are approved by authorities after review ifc or afc is a stamped or marked document or you can say one of the controlled document even some people are using a term ifc as information for construction or instruction for construction another name is ifr issued for information these drawings are issued by client consultant pmt to epc contractors suppliers vendors subcontractor or manufacturer shop drawings ifc is what to do and shop drawing is how to do it is a drawing produced by the contractor supplier vendor subcontractor or manufacturer in a simplified way to be understandable to the hand executor at site or stock there are the most detailed drawings on any project but before going for construction approval is must from the client any change major or minor should be addressed as built drawings it shows that how actually the final project has turned out it contains all suggested modifications required later on site there are mainly used for maintenance team later on thanks for watching softy demi the project or the questions are still going on to be continued to part 6 Thanks for watching Softy Dammy. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Like, comment and share. Meet you the part 6.